Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the decision element of our voice application. Now, most, uh, most even the basic application that you might have may require some sort of decision capability. So, for example, you may want to compare two uh, values to make sure that the user have entered certain number of digit, or you may want to collect digit and then compare that digit with the database value, right? So you could use a decision element to kind of make that happen. Now, although most decisions are in a Boolean nature, meaning true or false, uh, but some environment where you could have more than, more than one true statement, but one uh, false statement. So in our decision element, you will have an exit state. Now, one of them will be true and one of them will be false. But you can customize it to have more than one exit, more than two exit state if you desire. Now, you can configure a decision element uh, with, um, well, sorry, you can edit the decision element using the editor. You can supply it with XML files, or you can create a Java of class or even URI. So let's take a look at how decision element can be used to compare values uh, against a static object versus against dynamic object. So here you will see that I have a very basic application just started, the start of the application and then the CVP sub dialog. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop a decision element. Now, keep one thing in mind, I am using ICM Enterprise to transfer the call to the call studio and ICM is going to pass two value, okay? So let's call those two value, um, I don't know, num A, num B, okay? And we're going to compare if the value uh, if the value of num A is equal to num B, then play welcome prompt, otherwise play uh, enter your zip code. So to do that, I'm going to first rename this, call num uh, decision, my decision. And what I'm going to do is connect the CVP sub dialog to that so that I'm done with that. Now I'm expecting there will be two value coming in into the application num a, num b, and we're going to compare them and see if the value is correct. So to do that, I have a couple of options. I'm going to start with the decision editor first, then I'm going to show you how to create something in XML. So the decision editor allows me to select the decision I want to make. And I'm going to say if session data num a, I'm going to keep the same variables, equal to constant string, call that one, two, three, four, five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. And if it is true, we're going to continue. And if it is false, we're going to exit. OK, so now I have created two step, uh, state. Sorry, my continuous spelling is incorrect, but OK, forgive me for my grammar. So here you can see the continue and exit. So now if it is true, we're going to play an audio file. So you hopefully you got an idea about you know, how audio element works by now. So we're going to say welcome prompt. And we're going to connect the continue to that. Now we are going to play another welcome prompt, but this time if it is exit for, for the exit state. And in the exit, we're going to play zip code prompt. So let's go and enter those details. Zip code prompt dot web and welcome prompt welcome dot web okay now obviously i must end my application so i will use cisco sub dialog done done and i'm going to return the value zero okay so my programs are done. You want to make sure that you can validate. So far looks good. Uh, deploy. And of course, we're going to test our script.
So we're gonna dial our, okay, so we, we, first of all, we need to supply the num A. So we'll go to our uh, ICM, and one of these parameters we're going to specify. One, num A equal one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I got my phone, I'm gonna dial 2000. So technically, I'm expecting, if everything goes fine, I'm expecting to dial uh, here, welcome audio. Thank you for calling Cisco Systems. All right, so I am hearing the welcome audio. I could change that. Again, you can always supply this information dynamically by collecting the information from the user. I'm gonna change it to seven. And if everything goes fine, I should be hearing what we call enter your zip code. Please enter your five digit zip code. Five digit zip code. All right, so this is a very simplest form of decision. Sometimes you may have to uh, you know, make a decision based on before you can continue with your script. Now, I'm gonna show you how, so first of all, the, in the decision, you got the decision editor. That is the most simplest form. The next lab, I'm gonna show you how to create decisions based on XML file. All right, so here is an XML code that we you can create. Pretty much it's, it's the same thing. So here you can see rule, uh, you got a knowledge base. Within that, you will have a rule that has a name called my decision. Default exit will be exit. And I'm gonna create an exit state called continue. So let me just change my... So continue will be my exit, uh, what do you call one of the exit steps, and then you got the operator. Now what you can do is that you can, if you want, you can copy that and then create multiple uh, uh, options that you want. So for example, I can create another one. And this will call this um, type 20. And we're gonna say if the value of type, type constant value is 20, then uh, we'll say, uh, I don't know, go to type 20. Now, what is important here? I'm not, we're not gonna explain how to create XML file in this program. So that is, if, if you wanna learn about XML, please feel free to go to the Google and you will, there are plenty of materials for that. But what we can show you, this is a structural uh, uh, XML code that allows you to make similar concept as the decision we did. Now you're gonna copy something like this, and then bring the decision element. We're gonna connect that. And then in the decision element, we're gonna change it to XML, and we're gonna edit the XML file. Now, the one thing is that these exit state that you see, you must create that manually. So we will go ahead and do that. So we have continue, we have uh, exit. And the last one was, I believe, type 20, or go to type 20. So go to type 20. So let's save that, and now, here we can create, we can say continue, play the welcome prompt. Uh, for anything else, go to the zip code. Okay. Obviously, once you have uh, done this, you're gonna deploy again and update your script. All right, now you gotta pass type 20. So I believe my type 20 is already set to 20. Um, so that should work. So let's go and dial the number. Please enter your five digit zip code. Please enter your five digit zip code uh, because I am using num, num one did not match. So regardless, you can see how you can use an XML code to create, uh, you can edit the XML code anytime you want, add more exit steps if you, if you prefer but those exit state that you have must be manually created here, otherwise you will not often see it in this list. 